Hi, I'm Vishal. In this video tutorial, uh, we'll be discussing about inflating uh, geometry using N dynamics. Uh, inflating specially um, used to, you know, uh, inflate balloons or maybe you can use this technique to create pillows or any soft uh, materials uh, in modeling and also in simulation techniques. So let's get started. So uh, firstly I would like to create a base geometry for this. So I'll take a simple cube model here and uh, the width I'll take 3 units and uh, depth I'll take some 6 units. Height I'll take a 0.1 unit. And I subdivide uh, the width multiplied by 3 that is let's say I take it as 30 so 3 times a 30 and depth is uh, 6 so I'll take it as a 60 there so my intention here is uh, to maintain the equal size squares I don't want this much height here so I'm reducing the height of this model so I'm quite happy at this level maybe I could uh, double it to 45 uh, I'm multiplying this with 15 so uh, this would be 90 so height subdivisions I would take it to 2 so this is the model what I have got so this model I'm going to inflate uh, something like a pillow so this is uh, very thin at this level yeah so what I'm going to do is select the model and create a cloth using n cloth tool when I create this into n cloth I would get a nucleus uh, solver if I just select the nucleus solver and open attribute editor there is an option called use plane I enable this option considering the grid as a geometry to uh, to be a surface behave like a surface sorry grid uh, behaves like a surface I mean you could see this nucleus is now a plane which is going to be the ground plane now so select the nucleus just enable this option so I'll uh, set the timeline to somewhere 300 frames and also go to the settings and preferences in playback speed set the playback speed to play every frame let me select the nucleus and uh, increase the solver sub steps to maybe 5 to get a much better simulation here so I'll just play uh, I'm just expecting the uh, plane uh, the geometry to just settle down on the ground once it is settled down select the geometry plane in n solvers initial state set from current what I'm doing is this position where the geometry has been settled should become uh, the initial state for the uh, selected cloth so if I just go back to my first frame it looks like a settled plain cloth okay. now it's time to inflate it so if you could see here uh, in the cloth settings there is a column here for pressure there are two types of pressure options here one is manual pressure setting and another one is volume track method one manual pressure settings is more suitable at this level because this allows you to control the pressure by manually increasing the value or just keying the value here so if i generally set this value to one and then hit playback what do you see is the cloth suddenly busting out and I just don't want this at this level like that a sudden bust out what is the best way to actually you know uh, doing this is select the pressure value 
make it to zero in the first frame set it uh, set the keyframe to it then take certain time like 50 frames in this case and set the value to one so I'm animating the value here and I just want to assign a simple material so I'll be using a form shader just I want it to be a bit more shiny shiny and then I just play it now the cloth slowly inflates by the time so it's not a sudden bust out you get If you feel that the uh, the past uh, the inflation is too high, you can always select the pressure volumes, pressure settings, and then sorry, just go to the keyframe uh, information here, and here you could see the value at first frame is zero and fiftieth frame is one. I just wanted to keep it to 0.5. This key, this was unwanted key actually I uh, accidentally applied it so you can just go to the graph editor accidentally created I'm deleting it now let me again play it back and uh, let's see what I get so as you could see I've just inflated this model and here I'm getting the uh, ground surface you know it's reacting to the ground and you have got a very good uh, inflated model here so this is how you can inflate the model and this is very much uh, useful uh, in creating pillow model and all I, I can just uh, you know uh, instead of um, deleting history and doing so and so things I would rather suggest you to duplicate it when you got the copy delete the original model and you have got this uh, pillow model easily created with proper inflation in it and you have a lot uh, other cloth properties where you can maybe add some uh, wrinkles and all so it's a good for simulation and as, as well as modeling techniques